Hello there. Today I'm going to show you my hardware SID project. The sound that you're hearing is actually coming from uh, this cool little SID chip right here. It's the first time I've actually got uh, this chip to make what sounds like SID music anyway. There's a few problems with it right now, but I'm so excited I'm going to give you a little tour. So uh, this is an ESP 8266 module called uh, Huzzah for Made of Fruit and uh, it receives data from my little Python program that is emulating a 6502 processor and sending over frames of music to it. Uh, I use the Arduino IDE to do all of this to, uh, on the software side. On the hardware side, so we go back to the uh, Wi-Fi module which is receiving these frames of, of music. Uh, then something needs to decode it and put it on the SIDS bus, so it was originally going to be a CPLD, but uh, I actually it was originally going to be a GPIO expander, but I quickly learned that that would not be possible due to timing issues, uh, so I decided to go to a CPLD, and I realized that there was not enough storage on a CPLD for all of the frames of, uh, of, of SID song, so um, I had to expand to this Mojo FPGA board. I don't plan on making this permanent. Uh, it would be nice to use external static RAM or maybe figure out another way to do this. But anyway, the FPGA or CPLD will be the one doing the timing eventually because it does a much better job at uh, updating the SID at the proper intervals, which just happens to be uh, 50 hertz. So from the spy bus to parallel, to, in order to update the little SID chip, uh, we have uh, 25 registers that need to be updated 50 times a second to make the actual music, and that's what that FPGA is doing. Uh, please ignore the terrible wiring on the board. Uh, it's kind of hastily done, as I just really wanted to hear this music. And this uh, this guy here is a little uh, LM386 amp that uh, make sure I don't blow up the SID lines by trying to drive them. Anyway, it goes out to my... Uh, stereo and that's that I really hope to fix the timing issues uh, without having to completely re-engineer this project but uh, I, I think that'll be possible there's probably bugs somewhere in the code that I wrote anyway I will keep you up to date uh, until then thanks for watching